CKMP is a cool facility that um, we built a few years back and uh, it probably started 15 years ago um, for the property and built uh, some fun stuff outside, Enduro Cross Track, we're working on motor cross track, but as far as the snowmobile stuff goes, we built a lodge and a shop where we maintain and house all the sleds and all the, everybody stays upstairs and we have really fancy dinners and, and uh, fantastic atmosphere up there. But really, it's, it's really more about the riding and the experience. And, you know, when we bought this place or the, the property, you know, we, me and my dad had spent tons of time, years and years, basically looking all over from southern Alberta, BC, went all the way through the province, all the way, Revelstoke here, Valmont, um, McBride, you know, all over Crow's Nest Pass. And we really looked at this place as far as it, the tree riding because that was something that we liked and it's, the snow is always in the trees. We're at the right spot where the trees start to be rideable at about 5,000 feet of elevation and you got up to about 7,500 feet that the trees still grow. So you got 2,500 feet vertically that there's good tree riding. And then when the weather permits and the sun's out, then you can go above that. And the highest we get here is about 10,000 feet. There's a few peaks, but the most of the riding is in between that 8,500 to like 5,000. So that's the fat part of the snow. What people can expect when they come here is to, it's a lot like a heli ski experience. You know, get high end food, the lodging's really nice. Um, and basically everything's taken care of. So you just show up with your gear and we have the sleds, everything else. You just get to have the experience, you know, and Whatever we have masseuse, like, which makes a big difference, especially after a few days of riding. Most people need it. Almost everybody needs it, you know, on the second or third day. And then kind of break up all the knots and get them loosened up and whatever they can keep on riding. In the summertime, we're uh, doing more motorcycle-based stuff. Probably do some side-by-side -side stuff as well. So we have a world-class enduro cross track we built uh, last summer. Um, it's got some gnarly logs on there. It's got some balance beams. It's got nasty rock sections. It's got some tire sections. It's got off camber logs and tire matrix. Some cool wall rides, um, sand loops. Um, little bit of little tiny doubles, like, you know, motocross style in there. And uh, we've got about 20 kilometers of really pristine, single track like hand cut trails that are on the property. Um, it's all fairly flowing. Some of it's really tight and technical. Some of it's granite. Some of it's got some rock walls to it. There's a little bit of everything for everyone. And then we have um, logging roads that for side-by-side -side stuff and uh, the dual purpose bikes, without exaggeration, there's probably 4,000 kilometers of logging road from here that you can go all the way to Blue River, Kamloops, Kelowna, um, really an extensive network and whatever, there's some great trail systems around here for off-road bikes as well. It's a hidden gem right now, but it's really becoming something that people are, once they come here and they realize the amount of things that you can do outside, you know, whether it be motorcycles or side-by-sides, that it's really a special spot. We've got some people lined up already, some world-class teachers in the hard enduro, extreme enduro world, and that will be done all in this facility and on the enduro cross track on our trails. And then we're in the midst of doing a motocross track, you know, a really flowy outdoor style motocross track um, that will work as well for the side-by-sides. So it should be a pretty fun, Pretty fun uh, project.